details. We also have PKD Nambiar, who's a political analyst, joining us uh, on this discussion. Mr. Nambiar, how do you see today's incident? Because it's quite unprecedented. You know, an ED team goes to a village and it's uh, it's carrying out uh, sort of searches. It's talking to people with regard to its uh, you know investigation on an ongoing Russian scam case, and then they get attacked by villagers. The TMC has said that it is not associated with this violence at all. BJP has, of course, called called it lawlessness, and it's called for a probe uh, into this incident but clearly you know somebody has to be accountable here well uh, when a when a raid take place at uh, that too in the early morning how come the villagers have been surrounded the question is that what i think that the, the primary question which uh, was thrown by the the governor itself says the un, uh, the law, lawlessness in uh, west bengal i think the, the the national agencies whether it is cbi or ed or any other agencies have not been permitted to work uh, effectively in uh, uh, West Bengal gives a feeling that they don't believe in our constitution. The Mamta government feels that they it's a, uh, West Bengal is a new country altogether. It has nothing to do with the center and the, uh, or, or, or the Delhi as, as a whole. And they wanted to run the state as if, I mean, you, we all know that the kind of political killing, in which even today again, the governor mentioned in his speech, and it was uh, one of the very strongest remarks, if a governor has to speak in this level, the, the constitution will take its own course. If this the uh, uh, uncivilized government, the word used is uh, uh, uncivilized government is not able to run the government in a proper way with the law, with, with the law enforcement agencies are not even able to effectively work. What will be the state of a common man? What will be the state of uh, opposition parties who are uh, working uh, in, in the in the democracy? Do you think that? If, if if a CRPF force or an ED is being uh, is getting attacked, then what will be the fate of a normal uh, uh, political workers and the common man? I think Mamta Banerjee and her government needs to be answerable to the whole of this country. That we all have seen that the stacks of money which was taken away uh, from Partho Chatterjee to many other people. So the corruption has become an another synonyms to. Um, uh, uh, West Bengal and uh, Mamta Banerjee's government, and uh, I think Abhishek Banerjee has also been uh, multiple times been questioned by the the ED. Why, if there is nothing, is to worry? Why are you worried about for a raid? Let the raid happens. Let the things happens in the normal course. But attacking the officers, attacking the officers, that two central officers, CRP of paramilitary forces, and that two in an organized way gives a very very clear feeling you're saying that this was an organized developed. attack and not really a spontaneous one that is what you're critical the uh, tmc is behaving like a goons in fact uh, the other ranjan choudhury also yesterday also she was uh, the, the mamta banerjee and her government is actually mocking the congress and there is no space for the congress to even work offering just two seats and the second part is that it is it is not about that agencies are just going around and just uh, uh, tapping anybody and everyone. We have seen in the past that how the cats were stacked in the uh, in the cars, in the bedrooms, and of the ministers and or their uh, girlfriends and boyfriends. So I think uh, the, the time has come for the TMC to realize that they are a part of India. West Bengal is part of India, and the, this uh, this kind of a lawlessness is not acceptable. And how can somebody, the entire villagers, will come? Uh, uh, in such a, uh, a way uh, during uh, during a raid and you, you, even attacking the, uh, 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 the the policeman, which is generally never uh, unheard of, and I believe the TMC needs to now realize that they, if they wanted to run a civilized, lawful government, then only the people of stay, uh, West Bengal is going to stay with them or even be with them. So I think uh, the bottom line is that I think uh, the, the stern message what the governor has given, and uh, I happen to speak to one or two people uh, very closely there, the, that this is a usual situation. This is a usual situation, and many of these informations are not even reached uh, at the level at the national media. Right. So for an opposition party worker to work in uh, West Bengal is an uphill task, and uh, and and they they might get killed any time. They might be attacked any time. And there is a, another angle of uh, we know that the NIA is very actively working on uh, in, in the West Bengal because of the obvious reason there are very large number of anti-national forces, and then plus 
Right. Along with these political forces put together, it's a very, very tough okay. situation. Yes, thank you, Mr. Ramya, for really joining act. us with those details. That's a very critical.